Hello there, my Gemini Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness, Geminis. Ooh, I like this two of pentacles. What is up with your energy, Geminis? I've been reading from the Dame Darcy deck, but I wanted to pick this one up for you, Geminis. So I'm liking that, uh, I'm liking that double wheel of fortune vibes with you. So stay focused on you, Geminis. This is very interesting. Gemini, some of you will be in a good relationship or partnership. It's I don't think it's going to be romantic at first. But damn, you got a lot of people all up in your energy. So there's the sun card. There's the nine of pentacles. This is a, the Stevie Nicks song. Uh, well, I never thought I'd make it here in Hollywood. But what I seem to touch these days turns to gold. That's the abridged version, right? So, damn. So many brokenhearted energies around you, Geminis. But, damn, this is kind of like eat your heart out vibes right there. It's so sweet, Jesus, Geminis. Temperance Angel there with the Queen of Cups. Betty Davis eyes. Ooh, so my Betty Davis fans. Okay, a little snarky. I don't know if uh, Betty Davis was a Gemini or not. Page of Swords, King of Wands, Six of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Geminis, I hope your birthday wishes are coming true. I hope you all made some really good birthday wishes. Because, damn, your cross-watchers are seeing this vibe. I definitely do not feel like it's lack of opportunities with you, Geminis. That's why I said some of you could be attracting the right relationship or partnership. But it's going to be like a good working relationship or partnership before it's romantic. Your cross-watchers are definitely way all up in your business, though. There were that six of pentacles. So, damn Geminis. Whatever vibe you're in, this is working very well for you. Some of you avoid the sort of water sign energy. I keep telling everybody to stay out of the fucking water. Uh, there's way too much of this sort of deluge energy when it comes to the water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Stay moisturized, stay hydrated. Uh, stay on the shore, read you a good book, wear your sunscreen, stay hydrated, stay moisturized. It's all this cross-watcher vibes with you, Geminis. This is when that cross-watcher energy actually acts as a blessing, uh, <laughs> Geminis. So, sweet Jesus. This shouldn't be complex. This shouldn't feel complex, Geminis. That's kind of the whole point. This is like follow that yellow brick road. This is follow your intuition. A lot of you are in some really good vibes. So stay focused in that energy. Some of you, it's the shit relationships or partnerships that wanted to come back around to waste your time. Some of you to take advantage of an opportunity uh, when it comes to you. There's the five of wands. There's the ten of swords. So you're like conflict free. Um... I like this energy with you, Geminis. Capricorn energy up there at the Eight of Swords. You're making smart choices. You're rather indifferent. For some of you, Geminis, that's a major sort of uh, energy for you to be in. Those of you that are single and happily single and aren't focused on uh, cross-watching or X energy or your romance life. You're far more focused on the tangible opportunities because the Knight of Pentacles goes to the King of Pentacles. There's the Knight of Cups, the Fool, Seven of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups. So you're hard to read because it's all about the choices. Now, some Geminis are going to muck up their energy by going back to past relationships and partnerships. Others of you Geminis are being very mindful of that. And you're making very smart choices. You have like shark energy around you as well. 
So this is why it's going to be very important that you're very mindful of who you do uh, allow in your energy. Some of y'all don't go into the fucking water because there's sharks in there. It's not lack of relationships or partnerships. It's the quality of. Mm -hmm. There's an interesting duality with you too, Geminis. So those of you Geminis, it's very, this is like a very regimented vibe with you, Geminis. I mean, you're being rather strict with yourself. You're being uh, very, you're on a schedule. You're following the schedule. You're being very mindful. You're making smart choices. Uh, even if it's baby steps, you're still making smart choices, right? So now's a good time if you're trying to cut back on your caffeine or your nicotine or whatever the fuck you got going on. Some of y'all, it could have been your shitty love life or all these relationships or partnerships that had like uh, uh, unresolved endings. Some of y'all, you don't need a resolution. You don't need a resolution. I feel like you need to be the octopus energy. You, you can just regenerate that. So you don't need that uh, sort of conclusive vibe. It's more mysterious that you don't. Because uh, all that's for you, right? Closure's for you. It ain't got shit to do with the relationship or partnership. It ain't got shit to do with the other person. The closure is all about you. So some of you have some really good vibes, and you're calling in some really good vibes. Those of you, you're making your birthday wishes count. I feel like you're there's this lucky sort of blessings energy with you, Gemini's. But it comes to those that do the work. Whatever your guidance is, because damn Geminis, I know you got some guidance. I know you got some guidance. There's something that's uh, inspiring you forward. Because I feel like you're overcoming all the obstacles that used to keep you stuck. Uh, my creatives, this is like overcoming writer's block. This is like overcoming any stagnation. You're working through what you need to work through. Now, some Geminis are going to be stuck in that brokenhearted type vibe for a while. That's just the energy. So take what's yours and leave what's not. There's really no resolution to that. It's kind of the same old, same old. Uh, until you decide to focus on more grounded opportunities. So the stagnation is there. If you continue on, it's just going to be uh, stuck on like a loop-de-loop. It's the difference between that two of pentacles working to your benefit, working on your behalf, or just keeping you stuck. Damn, Gemini's. Don't focus too much on those relationships or partnerships coming in. Because for some of you, Gemini's, that's what has kept you stuck or stagnant before, how long you wait. Some of you, the weight is definitely going to be worth your while in the end. Because a lot of you, it's gaining interest. Then you have that stuck stagnant energy down there. So damn Geminis. Work, love, life vibes with you, Geminis. I like this five of pentacles. So someone definitely feels like they missed out on an opportunity with you. They could come in and want to sort of schmooze you up. Gemini's most I feel you need to remind not to get catfish, but I don't feel like you're in that sort of catfishing vibes. I don't think that's the, the sort of vibe that you're in. So anyone you're dealing with, yeah, you know who you're dealing with. Uh, so some of you Gemini's, the fact that you're not easily catfished makes the difference. I feel like you're on the other side of that seven of cups, Gemini's. So, okay, Geminis, what's up with this deck? Ooh, the Magician Energy and the Queen of Swords. Mindful meditations, Geminis. Make those birthday wishes count. Mm, I love Sagittarius. That's the opposite on the chart for you. You see how more focused the Sagittarius is? Some of you, the seriousness when it comes to your relationships or partnerships. So, it's definitely not a lack, Geminis. It's uh, the quality of. 
I like that sort of mixed vibe with you. So some of you bringing in a very sort of interesting opportunity. There's that seven of swords. Ooh, Gemini's. What are you doing? Ooh, there's the moon. There's the seven of cups. What did I say, Gemini's? I feel like you're you're on the other side of that moon vibe energy. You're very hard to read. But this is very good for you. I think you can see through the dark. You can see through, like, the options. You got this extra sort of sensory vibe with you. So uh, the choices that you make now are far more interesting than probably you even thought they would be. Someone don't like the fact that you have made these choices. You definitely have a jealous energy around you because I do feel like you're taking someone's light. Because, you know, the sunflowers follow the sun, right? So, someone definitely feels like you're getting far more attention than you should be getting. Oh, there's that Hierophant energy. So, let me upgrade you, Geminis. And over top of that is the Ten of Cups. Geminis is sort of cross-watcher vibe with you. This could be opportunities that you're not even aware of. So, if someone's watching you, someone's watching them watching you. And you're just kind of over there doing your own thing, Geminis. The thing with you, Geminis, is not to be messy. The thing with you, Geminis, is sort of reveling in that Seven of Cups vibe and that Moon vibe. So that way you, you create a little bit more of a mystique about you, a little bit more of a mystery when it comes to you. Is Gemini single? Who does Gemini like? What does Gemini like? That makes all the difference with you. Someone got to a relationship or partnership, Gemini's, and they're wishing that it was you. But hopefully you're not wishing you were in that energy either. Because this is like a fucked up vibe. Um, <laughs> yeah. Sweet Jesus. Those of you Gemini, I swear to God, some of you Gemini's, it's going to come down to the marriage vibe. Uh, what that means to you, if that's important to you, and what's that, uh, what that is about when it comes to you. Enjoy this energy, because this is like a very good upgrade when it comes to you, Geminis. Some of you are going to see it, and some people aren't going to see it. So, this is like where your attention is, where your focus is, what is more important to you. Those of you that are doing more of the shadow work, those of you that are being rather regimented with yourself, you could be rather strict with yourself too. So you're making some very conscientious choices here. So there's nothing that's really sort of half-assed when it comes to you. And that's what makes the difference. If someone's watching you, someone's watching them watching you. But this is good when it comes to job opportunities. Right? A lot of companies are wanting to sort of uh, hire within or promote within. So you could be being looked at for an opportunity that you're not even aware existed. Uh, an opportunity could be being created for you that you didn't even know existed. But someone else could. So stay in this interesting vibe you got going on. I don't know if you got a Capricorn watching over you or you got a Capricorn that's like a very good teacher. Uh, this would be like a very good, uh, oh God, fitness instructor, a very good coach, a very good teacher. Those of you, if you're taking classes, this is someone that really makes you sort of think, uh, and it makes all the difference with you. Some of y'all could be corseting. I don't know your life, but you know, you have to sort of ease into it, but damn Gemini's. Make that fucking birthday wish count. Because it's not lack. I feel like a lot of you Geminis. I love this uh, Seven of Cups bookmarking the moon vibes there. And I love the owl right there on the moon. Because look at that. Look at you go, Geminis. So what side of that Seven of Cups are you on? Some y'all are going to be on this side. Some y'all are going to be on the back side of it. So take what's yours and leave what's not. Some of you Geminis, some have gone to a relationship or partnership. Now they're wishing that was you. Eschew this energy because that's fucked up. You don't need that energy in your life. People make choices, right? Stay focused on you. Avoid the conflict. Watch your favorite astrologer, Geminis. Um, 
your astrology could be sort of factoring in on this with you. It's very, it's a very beautiful energy. It's blessings wanting to come in, but it's allowing the time for it. The Knight of Pentacles there to the King of Pentacles, and there's the Hierophant. But damn, your cross watchers are always in this vibe, Gemini's. Mm. I love your energy, Gemini's. Take what's yours, leave what's not. Main thing here is no drama. Uh, so avoid the drama. If you want to date, you're dating. If Whatever you're feeling like you need to do, that's the vibe you should be in. You shouldn't be questioning any of that either. Especially if you're sort of focusing on yourself. This could be a negative, but for a lot of you, this is that positive, right? Anyone that's dieted, anyone that's sort of... Uh, wanted to focus on something and you had to actually concentrate. This is like you concentrating, Gemini's. And Lord knows an air sign concentrating on something is rather a miracle. You always pull such beautiful cards, so make that birthday wish count. Make that birthday wish count, Gemini's. So the bottom of this deck is the Seven of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles. So some of y'all, what you're doing for work, there's opportunities there that you might not even be aware of. There's the judgment, decisions being made. There's the Emperor energy. There's the Two of Swords and there's the Sun card. So you could be looked at for an opportunity that you're not even aware of. But those of you, other people that are, might not like this idea. This is Let Me Upgrade You, Gemini's. There's the Knight of Wands, the Four of Swords, the Five of Wands, the Knight of Swords. And there you are, Gemini's. Damn, Gemini's. I feel like your cross watchers bring you luck. Some of you, I feel like your cross watchers bring you luck. Uh, whether you realize that or not. So Gemini's support, promote from within, focus on the good, uh, stay in this vibe you got going on because it really does pay off uh, in a very interesting and very unique way with you. Kind of let everything just sort of fall into place when it comes with you because it's, it's more organic and it kind of is the way that it should be. Those of you, when it comes to relationships or partnerships, that's the difference. The right relationship or partnership happens at the right time. That's what that's what and how you know it's like the right opportunity. This is like trying to make those shoes you love fit even though they're way too fucking small. What's the point? Some of y'all are getting far better opportunities than you could even imagine. Because I've noticed in the hand there and then the hand up there. So uh, stay focused on your dreams and your goals, Gemini's. Let everything sort of fall into place with you here. The Seven of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, someone's watching you, someone's watching them watching you. For some of you, your cross watchers actually bring you better luck. Uh, so, you know what I mean, Gemini's? Where's the power of optimism? And let that birthday wish count for you. Whatever your inspiration is, I know there's some sort of inspiration with you, uh, Gemini's. Whatever the hell that is with you, uh, because it's going to be different for all of you. That feels like a uh, Hervé Lajar, uh, the bondage dresses. Who is the other one? Ad 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 Adelaine Ad Adelaine Azaya Azaya Adelaine. I can't say it. Adelaine Azaya. Remember the '90s? All those dresses he come up with. So my creative, stay creative. I love that. Lagar did the bondage dress and Ad Adelaine Azaya. Did those beautiful, uh, nice form-fitting dresses. 
Damn, three of pentacles. Stay, stay creative. Things are working out for you. There's some like travel energy with you too, Gemini's. That feels like town and country vibes. Watch your favorite astrologer as well. Your moon notes could be switching up. This could be retrograde vibes with you. Keep those dreams going. Some of y'all may get the chance to visit New York City. Because I am drawn to the apple there and that. And there you got the New York City vibes. Maybe it's a trip. Maybe it's a shopping trip. Maybe it's a work opportunity. Maybe for some of you it's an audition. Don't discuss it till you book it. So whatever you got going on, Gemini's, keep those dreams, keep those ideals to yourself. There's way too much sort of energy around you, which I find rather interesting. It's the eye of the tiger. It's the thrill of the fight. Rising up to the challenge of our rival. This is Rocky IV. There you are, that, that cat energy, Gemini's. I think you kind of uh, associating in that cat energy. Cause I got cat class and I got cat style. Mm. Some of y'all could be doing some custom made or some custom tailoring. I don't know why that's coming up. Lajar, Hervé Lajar and Adelaine Azaya. Is that it? Those dresses still look amazing. Ah, uh, so damn Gemini's. Gemini's, I feel like you are that cat energy, right? You never own a cat. The cat owns you. So Gemini's, if people thought they had you in like a relationship or partnership, I don't think they realized just how skittish you were and how, you know, you're going to do your thing. I definitely feel like your intuition is on point too. Gemini, so trust it. Trust it, trust it, trust it. A lot of beautiful, unexpected blessings uh, coming your way, Gemini's. But you're going to have to make some really interesting choices here. This is boss ass moves here at that Aries vibe. Ooh, Gemini's. I am loving y'all's energy. Anything else for Gemini? What's over Eye of the Tiger here? Survivor. Oh, what was that? Oh, God, was it the 80s or the 90s? The Survivor song. Um, It's called Survivor. I'm a survivor. I'm not going to give up. Right, listen to that one. Two of Wands with the Page of Pentacles. Mercury is like sending you a blessing. Uh, Gemini's. So, stay focused in that energy. So, watch your favorite astrologer. <laughs> Damn, Gemini's. There's the Knight of Cups. Oh, is that a good Knight of Cups? Knight of Cups to the Nine of Cups. Some of you are nowhere near in, like, the right location or the right place to even call in the right opportunity. So, that's what makes the difference with you. There's like upgrades that need to come and then you get better choices and better opportunities. Over top of that is the four of pentacles. I like the muse energy with you, Gemini's. I love this muse energy. So some of you could be learning to overcome uh, obstacles. Some of you could be learning and growing, but it takes a lot of time, energy, and patience. But the right opportunities are going to be worth it, and that's what makes the difference. So my creative Gemini, some of y'all going back to things that you created uh, before, brushing them up, rework and revamping them. It's a very interesting sort of vibe with you. This is almost like revival energy. With this Three of Pentacles, Gemini's. I love the energy of travel with you. Think bigger, think broader, think better.
What is that Four of Pentacles about? Ooh. Two of Cups, the Page of Swords with the Nine of Wands. Yeah, there's like a relationship or partnership that you don't need to be paying attention to right now. Six of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles. Things need to have that sort of natural balance to them. And there's the Five of Swords. So this is your comfortable dating again. You're interested in relationships or partnerships. You understand. Uh, there is this almost custom tailored vibe with you as well. I hope that's right. Hervé Leger bondage dress and Adeline Azaya. I forget what he called those dresses, but everyone was wearing them in the 90s. Very form-fitting, very beautiful, very classic, very sexy, too. So damn Gemini's. Those of you that like museums in particular, this is like a interesting museum vibes. Anything else for Geminis? Anything else for Geminis? Azadina Zaya? You should recognize the dress because they almost look exactly like that. Minus the straps there, that's the bondage dress. That was uh, Hervé Lejar. So what do we got here? Four Swords, the Hierophant, the Three of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Three of... Damn, three, three, three. You had two, two, two the last reading. So look at that vibe with you, Geminis. A lot of blessings energy coming in, but damn, Geminis. Sit your ass down. There should be no drama when it comes to you. This is like the Hierophant vibe, so for fuck's sake. Everything's working out on your on your behalf. You just gotta keep in this sort of free-flowing vibe. Stay very structured and stay very focused as well. That's what's really gonna make the difference with you. There is something that's gonna you're gonna have to like get comfortable with. So, some of you, this could be like costuming. This could be getting used to uh, uh, switching it up. The Eight of Swords is kind of that sexiness. Because that's like Hervé Leger, baby. And Adelaine Azaya. It's designed to be that form-fitting. It's custom. Even if it's off the rack, it kind of forms to the body. Ooh, my designer's out there. Hell yeah. Mm. Good energy. Make that birthday wish count. You had two, two, two last time. Now you got three, three, three. Three of cups, three of wands, three of pentacles. So you are attracting attention, but it's good attention, Gemini's. If someone's a model or a cre any of my creators out there, this is like the chance to get like a great opportunity. So I don't know if it's an audition or you're going to get the chance to go to a showing or something like that. This is like a great opportunity. Probably a better working relationship or partnership before romance though, Gemini's. So keep that in mind. This would be far more fulfilling than a romantic relationship or partnership ever could. Mm. Take what's yours, leave what's not. Ooh, I love this. I love this. Good luck, God bless. Like, share, subscribe, Geminis. Peace, love, and light.